Hello, welcome to the September vlog. So I'm gonna try this wacky new idea called getting things up in real time, AKA not a full month after I do them. But as we know, my life is cuckoo bananas. So I finally got back from camp and my voice has recovered. If you've seen the pictures on Instagram, I was screaming into a microphone pretty much the whole weekend. But if you know me and all my camp stories, you know I've been wanting to be team captain for our Olympics for the past like five years and it almost happened twice and I was very close and I was even walking up to get my title and I've been usurped twice. Um, so this year I was on a team of a lot of returners um, and it came time to pick the captain and two of the guys who got their 10 year award this time were like, like pointing at me. They're like, it's, it's Shannon's year, okay? It's happening because it usually is one of the two of them as team captain but they drove up together and they decided that it would be me um also the fact that they did that me and courtney were like were, they had to have been talking about me on their drive up which is kind of weird but whatever i finally got team captain and we won so just like the cherry on top of everything winning i do wish um the olympics ends with a slip and slide down a hill and then you have to do flip cup i do wish we got like a one last go around of slip and slide for fun with like a trophy in my hand. That didn't happen. Literally, we went up to do that and they, they shut it down real quick. Um, injuries happen. I've busted a few thumbs in my day, so I get why they kind of turn it off, but it would have been really nice to have a little victory lap on the slide. But anyways, Labor Day camp to me is the end of summer. I know officially it's not till I guess any day now, um, but to me, Labor Day camp, that's the, the end of summer, and then September is fall to me. I wanna go apple picking, I wanna light some candles, the works. So, here's a mediocre segue for me. It is fall, so I have the fall FabFitFun box. So I did customize this, but it was probably a month ago, and my short-term memory is not there anymore. So, this will be a little surprise for each of us, um, but I'm excited to open it because I do remember when I was picking them, I know I picked the good stuff, so we will open it, but it says pumpkin spice and everything nice, so cute. I actually keep these boxes for storage. All right, we'll just hop right in. So this I do remember picking. So this is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. I've heard so many good things about this, and when I saw it was an option, I'm like, I have to get it, especially like knowing how kind of like pricey it is. Okay, so I did just price check this. This goes for $45, um, and this whole box was under 50, so you automatically make your money up in the first item. So I have been kind of going through it recently with my skin, it's just not cooperating. My texture's off than what it used to be. So I'm willing to try anything to just get like an even texture. So I've heard really good things about Glow Recipe, and I'm finally excited to try. Okay, next we have a Kat Von D tattoo liner. As we know, I'm sweaty and eyeliner is my brand. So I always have one in any purse because I look unalive without it. So this is always good to have. I've also have used Kat Von D in the past. You get a super pointy, precise line with this. Okay, next we have this Cuccio Somatology Hand and Body Wash, a good size. Imagine my shocked Pikachu face when I looked up the price of this. $40 for something like this. I guess it's really good. Um, let's smell it. But like $40 for soap? Ooh, ooh, it's not, okay, it smells like a spa. So I'll give you that. But it's hand and body, so you can use it in the bathroom literally anywhere. So always good to have. But again, for the price of the box, getting this, you've already made up your whole box. <gasps> okay. This I'm excited about because I love a belt bag. Obviously, everyone has one now. Um, this is from the Obey brand, um, like a fitness brand. Ooh. So the back is like a mesh padding. Like, remember our backpacks when we were in middle school? But like a nice foam mesh padding here. Let's see how big it is. That's always my fear. Like, will this fit around my waist? So automatically, it does fit here. And you could do that. It's, this is like a forest green, like a very dark green. So very cute. Goes with a lot of my stuff. Perfect for fall. This is also huge. Ugh, I'm so jazzed about this. Very big without being like a huge backpack on you, but this will fit so many things. Like I carry around my vlogging camera. That's a good, you know, 
brick size thing that'll fit in here my phone my huge George Costanza wallet it'll all fit in here and even I'm not a mom but if you wanted to put wipes in here a whole pack of wipes would fit in here so there's the main pocket which is huge also has a zipper inside here for more safekeeping like that's where I keep my keys and the wallet and then the outside has another pocket which will definitely fit my old iPhone 11. So tons of storage in here. I'm so jazzed about this. I'm going to Disney in a few weeks, so I think I might bring this along and it'll be my Disney bag. So like I said before, I got to customize because I am a yearly subscriber and there were more fall kind of options like candles or a big scarf. But as if you've seen my room, you know I have way too many candles. But if you're looking for like fall, fall kind of stuff, just know if you customize your box, there are those options. Okay, next, I've been wanting one of these. Ooh, again, with the, the green. Um, I just hit my head. <laughs> a silk pillowcase. I've heard so many good things about a silk pillowcase on TikTok. It's really good for your skin. It's really good for your hair. I usually wake up with a full, like, Boy Scout tied knot in my hair. Um, so, these are really good to have. I'm very happy about this. The green doesn't, you know, exactly match my room, but no one's seeing my room. This says it's designed to help you retain moisture in your skin and hair so you wake up looking and feeling refreshed. So this will be really nice to have and try out. It's um, a sleeve, so your pillow will go right through. There is no end. So I can go right through here. So it's easy to swap in and out. This is from the brand Silked. So if I like this one and it works, I will get a pink one going forward. Okay, finally, and this is the one I'm the most excited about besides the glow recipe, and what a weird thing to be excited about, but a little duffel bag. So I'm already going back to San Diego in about 10 days, so I'm already like have travel on the brain, and then I get back from San Diego, and Keith wants to do his birthday in October in San Diego, so I will literally come back, pivot, and go back for Keith's birthday, so I will be bopping around for the next couple weeks so i saw this and it's alice and olivia and it's so cute and classic like i do love kind of like loud um patterns here and there as we know i'm like kimmy gibbler but a black and white stripe is so classic it's not going to look dated 10 years from now so this is from alice and olivia very big lots of room in here Ooh, i'm excited top zipper as we i can't imagine someone not having a top zipper but like just so you know, all your things are gonna be secure. An outside zipper, very big and spacious in here. Will definitely fit a phone. Oh my God, it'll fit a lot of things. My phone like went all the way down there. So lots of room on the outside as well, but it's always nice to have an outside pocket just for things you need to grab in the airport. So this will be a good carry-on bag. This will definitely fit under the seat in front of you on an airplane. And we got a good like strap length here, like my giant arm, it definitely fits in there, but then it also comes with this that you can make a very big strap. But yeah, I definitely have a lot of traveling coming up, so I'm very excited to use this. And it looks so nice and grown up. Okay, so that is everything in my fall box. Like I said, like, it feels like fall to me, and now I have this fall box. Like, put a pumpkin on my head, let's go. So I do have a FabFitFun promo code. It is Shannon M. That'll save you 20% off your yearly membership. Also, I've run the numbers. We know I'm a cheap girl whole year is going to be less than 250 and divide that by 12 months out of the whole year less than 20 dollars a month what i like about fat fit fun is that it, for me it helps curb my impulse shopping because i'm getting like cute things here and there instead of like grabbing things by the um checkout counter just to like fill that need i'm getting cute full-size products and it's good stuff and you get to pick it because you customize your box so again my code is shannon m it really helps me out if you use my code so thank you in advance if you use it and thank you to fabfitfun for working with me on this part of the video all right ladies like i said i'm gonna try and get this up in real time like a september video in september wouldn't that be crazy for me but we're gonna do it i have a lot of packing cleaning my whole room looks like a mess like before i left for camp i was like blam all over my room while i was packing and i've yet to clean that up so that's in the cards. A lot of working, hopefully some fun stuff, but we're back in the groove. I kind of have my mind about me, so let's go do September. Daily vlog, and then we walked forever and Joey fell in a sewer grate. Hey guys, this is Joey. I'm here, I'm doing it. Um, I don't want a hangover, as you guys know, so um, don't forget to click the link in bio. <laughs> one, one stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a nacho? Oh. oh my god, I don't want it. I don't want it either. Okay. Are you gonna hold it? That took all my wolf
Power, not the power gun. Cheers. <laughs> power gag. What's up, Long Squad? You're stabbing my. The, the echo here? With the Dallas. We just went to my first ever Screamo show, Joey's Millionth. I had a great time. I would go again. You had a great time. I got so much content of Joey thrashing. Respect to Shannon, just filming everything. <laughs> Amazing. I Shannon was like literally almost getting a fist in the face, which is like, <laughs> I, I need the shot. <laughs> I'll take your credible. But yeah, I know. I know I'm the squad flabbergasted. loves to see Joey. So here we are. This is my prettiest ever. And we're going to go to Wendy's. Oh <laughs> <laughs> the workout. <laughs> Good morning. So I am at a new workout place. I'm doing Zumba for the first time in probably years. I used to teach. Teaching took the joy out of it, but I'm here to just dance today. So my spin instructor, CJ, she teaches here. Um, I don't take spin with her anymore because she only teaches at 5.45 in the morning. So I was like, you will never see me again. Um, but she does teach Zumba here. And I have just not had a free weekend. No free Saturday in sight since she started teaching here. So it's finally happening before I leave again for two weeks in San Diego. But she gave me a link and it's like, oh, first like class free and I signed up, but I never got like an email from this place. So I'm 20 minutes early, one, so I could suss out the parking situation, but two, so I can, you know, talk to the front desk. Um, I'm just gonna be like, hey, can I use that free pass today? And if they give me a hard time, I'll just pay for like a drop in, whatever. But I did wanna make sure I was early and sort all that stuff out. I am like, my heart is pumping. I had a minor tiff with my brother. We fight we don't even fight. We disagree so in often that what <laughs> the little back and forth we just had, I'm like, oh, he hates me. Um, so my neighbor is cutting down a tree in their yard because it's huge and it could fall on their house. Um, and every time someone is taking down a tree in my town, my mom and my brother are like, we're turning into Queens. It's turning into a shithole. Um, so naturally my brother said it's turning into Queens this morning. And I literally went, when was the last time you were in Queens? He goes, or how many times have you been to Queens? And he goes, once. And I'm like, then stop making that joke. It doesn't land the way you think it's landing. If you think Queens is a shithole and that we're turning into Queens, are we a shithole? And is taking down a tree in someone's yard because it might fall on their house, is that making things into a shithole or is that just being safe? Like, it doesn't land the way they think it's landing. And my mom repeats it all the time because she, like, thinks my brother is smart, which he is. So when she repeats it, she thinks she's being smart. And, like, it's always crickets when she says it. I'm like, are you happy with yourself? Like, no one acknowledge that, stupid. Um, but, yeah. So I talked back to my brother with the, when was the last time you were in Queens? Um, and now I feel like we're in a fight. He has probably already forgotten about it, but I drove the whole way here like, ah! So, yeah, we never have minor spats so that is like working me up so what a better way to deal with it than by dancing it out so i have literally 20 now 48 hours before i get on a plane i have to film four videos um i'm going to joey and kira's today we haven't seen each other in a thousand years i did see joey but i haven't seen kira since june so i have to recap san diego and camp for her um but we planned on getting sushi but now we're just gonna do like a bunch of Trader Joe's snacks and just like plow that. So that's my Saturday. Um, yeah, tomorrow I think I just have to pack it all in and I have to return a bunch of stuff. Ugh, this is gonna be a very busy 48 hours. That was so fun. I am really sweaty. I wasn't expecting to sweat that much, but I am disgusting. So naturally I'm at the mall to go get makeup. Um, there was a point where one of the guys who worked at the front desk came in and filmed, I guess for like CJ's social media and the club social media, but I was like, I'm being filmed and I'm sweaty and gross. And he was like right on me too. It was out of the corner of my eye. Oh, it was just weird. Um, <laughs> so now I know how other people feel when I film them, but I got through it. So I am leaving Monday and I have no foundation. Not a lot of foundations have been working for me lately. I've done high end. I've done drugstore. Nothing is working. It all works, but it's like patchy. It's probably just my skin. Um, but I'm in need of new foundation. So I'm going to go for it cosmetics this time. Um, it just, I think shade wise matches me the best. It is one of the ones that sits on top of my skin and oxidizes. So I'm not like jazzed to spend $40 on this, but I think I have an Ulta coupon somewhere in my email. Okay. 
the deed is done. I'm very proud of myself. Ulta is right next to the Bath and Body Works and the fall display is out. I took one inhale of leaves and I was instantly transported. I was like, I will spend all my money right now, but it's good and I walked away. Although the crisp morning air soap, wow, I don't know where it's, the soap, such a good fall soap. That is such a pathetic statement, <laughs> but I walked away. I didn't spend any money there, so I'm proud of myself, but I might go back. All right, so I did not get It Cosmetics. I did get two e.l.f. things, though, and I had a $10 coupon, so whole shebang, 20 bucks. So I got the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is the dupe for the It Cosmetics. I've never tried it. I didn't even do a little patch test. Lately, I've also been going a little too light um, on my face. I am very white and pale, but like sometimes I put makeup on and I look like a ghost. So I do need like one shade darker, especially like I spray tan, all that stuff. Like it's got to match, but I'm so bad at this and no one was around to help. So I held it up to the It Cosmetics one. I'm like, these kind of look alike. Ooh, we'll see. So I got the Fair 150C and then I got Halo Glow. This has been pretty viral on TikTok. I've never tried it. Um, I think you can use this as a base, but you can also use this as like you put it on, then you put your foundation on. Although I feel like it cancels each other out. Um, but yeah, we'll try it. I feel like I've been going very matte lately and I look insane. So I'm gonna go back to dewy, even though I feel like that makes you look sweaty, but the matte is not working for me right now. I keep watching videos of me in like 2021. I'm like, I look really good there. Yes, I was like 25 pounds down, but also just makeup wise, I was glowing and I do not know what I was using foundation wise. Um, I do know I was using the Merit blush. So I spent like full amount of money. I got a new Merit blush uh, about two weeks ago, even though they are in my emails wanting to give me stuff. I fully spent money because I'm too lazy to return an email. Ugh, my mind. Uh. But that just goes to show that Merit is actually good and worth the money. Um, I will try and get a free one, though, for my emails. But I know I was using Merit Blush, but I'm like, what else was I using? Like, what foundation was I using two years ago? I wish I knew. I should probably just do makeup videos just for me to refer back to. Wow. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> in an alternate universe, JC is the most famous singer in the world and there's no school shootings. Right. Food bleeding asshole. He <laughs> sure gives me PTSD. Shannon like this, when I was giving it my all, She's like people were punching me in the back. Oh, I was Kris Jenner. Shannon was like, you're doing amazing, sweetie. It was incredible. Well, I had like, kicks and legs in my face too. And I'm like, I still got you. I got you. Do you remember when like Sh Shannon got a little bit overzealous and I literally was like, Shannon! And like right before that, like one Nazi skinhead was like spin kicking Nero's. <laughs> I call this story the tale of the cum rag underwear. <laughs> <laughs> his feet. It shouldn't be wet. But he just said his feet are wet. I'm like, your feet shouldn't be wet. They should be dry so it's nice and Parmesan cheesy. <laughs> did he bring pizza though? I did. It's mine. Oh, look at him. It's fucking oh, ew. Oh, I see the uh, place. No! I what was happening in front of me. Wait, what? Oh, why you get through? You get oh I didn't know there'd be flakes. I did not know there'd be. No! No! I can't. I can't put this in the make a wish <laughs> okay it is sunday around 3 p.m i've done all my try on parts for about five videos now i'm gonna do the talking parts for about five videos i don't think i'm gonna get through it all so in my head i'm like oh i'll do like one or two tomorrow morning mind you i'm getting on a plane tomorrow it's gonna be absolute frantic energy we'll see what i can get done but i would like to get at least a bulk of it done in the next hour I do have like gravel voice though. It's not as bad as it could be. Like my camp voice was just not there. Um, just from like scream talking and scream singing last night with Joey and Kira. Um, Kira's sister Brianna came over with her husband and then at the very end of the night, like I was like, I had my keys in my hand. I was ready to go. Our friend chef came over with a pizza. So I stayed for the pizza. Very long night and then I felt it this morning. All that fried food. 
the heartburn, unreal. So I got three out of my five videos filmed. I kind of did have more time, but I just kept getting interrupted and I was really sweaty, so I called it. And in my head, I'm gonna wake up really early tomorrow and do it. <laughs> no. Um, right now I'm at work. I figured I'd get in a little bit more cash before I go to California. I do have stuff to do. Um, but my boss here, he's getting like foot surgery. So he's going to be out the next week anyway. So like no one really noticed if I didn't do anything, but like I want to get ahead of stuff and most importantly, make money. All right. I'm doing good with my checklist. I did not film the video that I wanted to this morning. It's just like dreary and yuck outside and the lighting in my room. It's not good period. It's really not good when it's yucky outside. So it's just swimsuits for that one. So I'm just going to pack them in my bag and Hope for the best because I need to find my tiny tripod as well. If I'm going to do that, I'll get to it when I get to it. But I did my Torrid return. I did my Old Navy return. I just did my Amazon returns at a Whole Foods. And I did buy little cookies. I follow, well, I don't follow her anymore because she's annoying about her husband. But there's an influencer named Emma's thing. But I still check up from time to time. And she posted about these apple butter cookies from Whole Foods. So I got them. I do need to eat. So that has to happen. It's 10.55. I'm planning on leaving my house at 1.30 for a 5 p.m. flight. Is that too crazy? But no, right? Um, so in the next two hours, I need to eat. I need to pack. Still haven't packed. But um, I think I can do it. I would just love one trip, just one, where I'm packed like days ahead of time. I don't think that'll ever happen, but like... That's a, a long-term goal for me. So I have two more Amazon returns. They weren't part of the Whole Foods thing. I don't know how any of this works. Um, so I have to mail those. Naturally, my printer did not work this morning. Also, I was gonna print it last night when I went to work, forgot. Um, also, when I went to work last night, it's like, oh, there's missing bank statements. They might be in the email. I never checked the email. So like January is just missing. I went through the whole year, didn't do January for one client and I'm not gonna be back for two weeks. All right, well, like, it's like, what can I do now? Um, but yeah, I need to go to the post office. So I need to go to the library, print, post office at some point. I could maybe pass it on to my brother to do this week. Um, go to the bank and probably get a bagel. Let's be real. Two hours later. We made it to San Diego. It is 9.20, so 12.20 my time. I had a bagel and then some popcorn today. So part of me, like the whole flight, I was like, I'm going to get out and then I'm going to walk to the taco shop. And that's open till midnight. But part of me is also like, you could skip a meal. Um, also, it's dark. Also, I could just lie down. So uh, we will see. I think I, I left like a bag of chips in here in July. So there's not too much for me to pick from. But like a tostada would be real good right now. Clearly, I cannot say no to food. So the goods are acquired. Last time I went, I got two thinking a tostada was like, you know, like that. It's way bigger. So just one for tonight and then I'll plow the rest of the week. Okay, I survived my little work day. Actually, I'm gonna keep wearing these because I can't really see. Um, Because it's like still kind of hybrid office wise, we just reserve our seats when we go in. And the past couple times I've been there, there's always been someone in my seat, even though we reserved. So even walking in this morning, I just knew that someone would be in my seat. And there was someone in my seat. And I'm like, we have a reservation system. Um, so I just found the first open seat I could find to open up the reservation system again, to maybe just reserve a new spot, see what was open. And like everything was red, there was nothing open. So even I walked around the entire floor, like at least twice, and there was, like someone's jacket or a coffee cup, a laptop on every desk. There was nowhere to sit. And I think some woman saw me huffing and puffing and she's like, is someone in your seat? I'll, it's probably someone on my team. I'll go have them move. And I'm like, I, no, no, like I'm not confrontational. We don't have to do this. Um, because we're the accounting team, but then there's like a billing team who usually comes in on Tuesdays. Um, and there's probably only like 12 of them. So they're not used to doing a reservation system. I don't think they knew we were having our like big meeting, you know? Um, so the girl moved. I felt like such a dick, um, but it all got resolved. During that whole scuffle, I met my original boss. So she was the one who interviewed me, hired me, trained me. 
but then um, we did like restructuring. So she's not my boss anymore, but we both clocked each other. We're like, are you Alex? Are you Shannon? Nice to finally meet you. Because again, even my other coworkers, the first time I ever met them face to face was three months ago. Um, but then we just had meetings all day. Um, but towards the end, you know, there were snacks passed around. So I took, you know, some cookies. But then at the end, like this new accounting system we're using gave us this giant cookie cake and no one was touching it. And then one of the girls at the end, she's like, I'm gonna throw this out if no one wants it. I was like, me, me, I'll take it. Um, because I can't let food go to waste, clearly. Um, and there's not really a ton of food in Scott's apartment. So I was like, this this will feed me for a few days. Realistically, maybe only one day, but I'm gonna try and make it last a while. Oh, you know what we go with this? Milk. That That's a disgusting sentence, but a big cookie cake? Give me some milk. So I had no shame in taking this giant cake. Um, and then I went back to the lunchroom because we had like, you know, a deli cater lunch. And I just took anything I could grab. I think there's even a bag of popcorn in my laptop bag. Again, no shame. I feed the fat. Let's do it. So tomorrow we're doing like, again, just meetings, but then we're going bowling. And they're like, you can dress casual. What? I know I got that great pair of jeans from Old Navy recently, but I didn't pack them in my bag because jeans are heavy in a suitcase. Um, so I only have dresses and leggings um, and a skirt. I have my Timu skirt that I'm, I was planning on wearing anyways, and I think that's casual enough for like a casual day at the office while also being okay for bowling. Like this would be funny to bowl in. I would look like I'm truly in the 1950s, um, but I think... I think that'll be the move. We'll see. So I'm going to plow all this. Part of me wants to just run down to the, like the 7-Eleven, get milk. I don't know. I don't know. And then I've been wanting to watch um, the Adam Sandler Bar Mitzvah movie for like a month now, but my fire stick in my room doesn't work. So I finally have a working smart TV. So I'll be on the couch. Okay. My social interactions are done for the next week, but today I think I did pretty good. Um, so we had some meetings in the morning, but then we went bowling as a team and, you know, they picked the teams, which was good because, you know, that's just awkward to me, but I got to interact with people I don't really hang out with and also I don't really work with that much, which is good because I feel like if you're having fun and then like the next day you're like, Joanne, where are those reports? Then it just, it makes it weird. So I was with people that I don't interact with too much, so it makes it less awkward going forward. But at the meeting this morning, um, someone's like, wait, you're payroll Shannon? And I was like, there's only four girls who work here and I'm the only white one. How did you not put it together? Yes, I'm payroll Shannon. But while we were bowling, someone got sidetracked and was talking to like the controller. Um, so we had some downtime. So me and the two other guys on my team, we saw a giant Jenga. We're like, well, let's go start that. Somehow we beat Jenga. There was nothing left for us to do and we were nervous, we were sweating, like we were in the zone on this Jenga game. Um, I was, I don't wanna be the one to, you know, have it go toppling over, cause it was like that thick Jenga. Um, it would've made like the loudest noise. So it came to a point where there was nothing left for us to pull. So we just ended it there, but a very impressive stack. Also at bowling, got a lot of gutter balls, but I did get two strikes that no one saw, but it happened. So it is Wednesday, which is the OB street fair. And you know I love all that greasy food. But this morning they got us breakfast burritos. And I only took one to be like a ginger little, ginger little girl. You know, a delicate young woman. And it was so good. I was like, I need to go back and steal the rest. So at the end of the day, and after I had four beers, I'm like, give me all the chorizo. So I do have some burritos and cookies, but who knows? I might make my way over to the farmer's market, get even more food. Um, I feel like I'm just off on a better foot with this trip because last time I was here in October, I was sick. The time I came in June, I started off sick. This time, hopefully I don't get sick. I'm still taking Zycams for no reason, um, but I'm starting off on a better foot with this trip. So I'm gonna eat this entire plate and then maybe I'll go down to the beach. Oh my God! Oh my God, oh my God, my, my dress flew up too. Good thing. No, 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 I don't like this.